Really seagully. What's he doing? He has a bow on him. He's right there, Mom. I'm a the 12? Oh, yeah. Oh, show me. We're looking for a 15, one five today. One five today. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey, there's a leaf on the ground. Okay, I'll throw it away here. Give it to me. Where's one five at? 15. 15. Hmm. I don't know where it is. Look on the right side. Look over on this side. Your hand was just on it. My hand was just on it? Yeah, on the right side. Look over here. Here? On this side. Where's 15? One five. Huh? Yep, there you go. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Need the poo! Yes, Pooh's jingle bells. How exciting. Mm hmm I like blue. Today is Wednesday, December 15th. I am wearing one of my festive Christmas sweaters, the Yule Gran, that I finished this, I think, December or November, end of November. And I knit it in Judy's Mint from Le Moutin Rouge Knittery. And I just love it. It has all these little details like this. And this is my first day wearing it. Um, today is Matilda's like dance recital, Christmas dance recital. And she's doing a tap routine and I wanna wear something festive. So I'm thinking I might wear this, I'm not sure. Um, the recital's in the evening. So we have like a practice in the morning and then a recital tonight. So I thought I'd pop over here really quickly and open my advents. So this is the 15th from Stress Knits. I forget the name of this colorway. It's just, I think it's something like about dreams. I'll make sure to put it here. <laughs> oh, I love it. So it's a very pale mint with a very pale pink. So this part in this green that looks cream is a pale mint. I love it. I didn't see them falling behind because they're not wound up. <laughs> I didn't even knit on my advent yesterday. This is so good. I'm hoping to do some advent knitting today, make some time for it. <clears throat> and I did do my advent sock. I found that something I did that in the car yesterday. So I feel like that is exciting because I feel like there's this one thing I can keep up with. <laughs> 
I'll probably bring this off to dance rehearsal too. Okay, so I've opened my stitch marker. And it looks like a little dress. I think it's Cinderella's dress. Very cute, very cute. If you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, you'll see I got an epic package. Now, on my podcast, I really don't get a ton of things mailed to my house. So, I mean, that was just really, really special. And I'm just so appreciative. So this is the logo for the Bitten Mitten. And I'll make sure that I link their shop below. And one of the things I discovered post-recording yesterday is that every day the colorway is announced on Instagram and it's on their website. And you can even just purchase, like if you like some of the mini scenes, you can just purchase them individually, which I think is pretty fun. So because I, you know, it's getting, it's officially mid-December now, um, I have some catching up to do in the advent. So I thought since today is the 15th, I would open the 15th. And just for fun, the eight and eight came with like a goodie. So I'll just open the 15th since that's today. And I love how each day is individually wrapped like this. So it's really cool. It looks really neat in a box too. I suppose I could put it out in my basket. We have lots of advents here. I have a basket that I've been, ooh, this is beautiful blue. It's really nice. I was looking for the other ones. There's a lot of incredible blues so far in this advent. Here's some other ones. I think that looks really neat. So hopefully I'll look up the name of this colorway and put it here. I didn't want to look on Instagram prior to opening or like too hard because I wanted to enjoy the surprise. So here's eight. It is a pink and a black, but I will say the black isn't like a stark black in person. On the screen, it looks like quite black in person. It's looking almost like chocolatey, leaning towards violet black. So that's fun. And then there's a little goodie bag that came also marked with certain days having little extras. Oh, fun. I've never had one of these kind of stitch markers. Mm. It's like a rock. This would be good for like a project that is like thicker yarn, I think, because it feels heavy, but this is good. It goes really well with a lot of the blues that are in this. This makes me think of Kyle. Kyle's a bit of a, what's the terminology, like a rock hound? Like he, we like go looking for rocks, he tumbles rocks and things. It's like one of his hobbies. <laughs> and he has gotten into making some jewelry and things. So that's fun. So <clears throat> yeah, so that's the advent opening today. And I don't know how much I'll be able to record of either dance rehearsal or the recital because I don't want to get video footage of other children. And so, yeah, but she's been practicing at home the past few days and that's been really fun. She'll, I think I mentioned that I had a hard time getting her to practice in a prior vlogmas and 
the issue was is I was having a hard time practicing because I was thinking like an adult, like you should be practicing this. And so <laughs> as a mom, I was like, you know what I will do? I'll just put it on the TV, like airplay the video on the TV and I will start dancing and see what happens. And when I did that, she practiced. <laughs> so <laughs> her not practicing was me. <laughs> So anyway, so last night Kyle was even doing it too. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go get some breakfast and get ready for dance. This one and you put these on here? I did. For garden. Yeah. The beaver is in the garden. Yep, the beaver's in the garden. Whoa! I did it! Yep. A fox. What do you with the letter F. Can you find the letter F in the yellow? Good job. And another F. Another F. Can you write a letter F here? There's one here. Can you write the letter F there? I, I can draw a circle. Okay, you can circle the Fs. That's E. Oh, that's an F. Just kidding. Matilda, what were you saying that you want to speak? Goat. You want to speak goat?